Who is Vault Boy? Vault Boy is a young male character with wavy blonde hair, wearing a vault jumpsuit, usually with a wide grin, but has known to have other facial expressions at times. He was originally designed by Leonard Boyarsky, based somewhat on the penny bags from Monopoly, then drawn for Fallout by George Almond. Tremel Ray Isaac finalized the look as he is today. Natalia Smirnova drew all the Vault Boy images for Fallout 3, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76, even animating them in Fallout 4 and 76, though the Fallout Tactics Vault Boys were drawn by Ed Orman. Vault Boy is the official mascot and registered trademark of Vault Tech, under the name of Vault Man, appearing in advertisements, manuals, products, holotape games, and more. There is also a female version who is often joined or replaced by his equally popular counterpart, Vault Girl. Appearing in almost every released game, slowly evolving, and eventually becoming the symbol for the Fallout franchise. The design of the Vault Dwellers in Fallout Shelter and Fallout Shelter Online are derived from both Vault Boy and Vault Girl. Vault Boy often appears in cross-promotions with other products like the New Good Trapper Holotape game, appeared in Hell's Chain Gang comic of Hubris Comics. However, it was never released because of the Great War, and is also used to provide a representation of almost all the stats, like perks, traits, and skills, and even becoming a representation of one's actions in survival, even as achievements or trophies. Do not confuse the Pip-Boy and Vault-Boy. They are two different characters. The Pip-Boy is the personal information processor used as a game interface in Fallout, Fallout 2, 3, New Vegas, 4, 76, and even Fallout Tactics. According to Leonard Boyarsky, the character creator, and Tim Kaine, the original creator of the Fallout series, he was always referred to as Vault Boy or Fallout Boy, never the Pip Boy. The misconception is the developers from Fallout Tactics confused the two and called the Vault Boy Pip Boy, which even Chris Avalon used when he wrote the Fallout Bible. However, Pip Boy was made by Rodko and has its own mascot and is shown on the Pip Boy 2000 with pointy ears red and yellow jumpsuits, and red hair. In 76, the character was named Vault Boy 2000. The Pit Boy 3000 model does feature Robco's mascot, while the vault mascot is not present in the original Fallout games. He was called Vault Man in the Fallout instruction manual. And for some reason, he was forgotten and never used again, and eventually Bethesda returned the real name of Vault Boy in Fallout 3. But confusing enough, he is still called Pit Boy in the legal documents. He appears in a Vault Tech commercial in the Fallout intro, leaving the Vault video in Fallout 2, the What Makes You Special Public Information video series in Fallout 4, and You Will Emerge Education film series in Fallout 76. He also appears as a real person in a special encounter in Fallout Tactics and in Shop Tech interface in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Vault Boy is also accompanied by another Vault Boy in some images or videos, who is identical with the exception of hair being black or brown and his creatures or items with them. Others he is with is Vault Girl, and there is also a black version of Vault Boy in the Leaving the Vault video in Fallout 2 with a crew cut. Vault Boy appears as a representation of almost all stats in all games and equipment in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. The Vault Boy as Vault Tech bobbleheads appeared in Fallout 3, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76 as promotional items used on the east coast of the former United States around the Capital Wasteland, the Commonwealth, and Appalachia. Bobbleheads were exclusive Vault Tech merchandise available to executive level employees of Vault Tech and given as gifts to individuals who were accepted into the vaults. In Fallout 3, a bobblehead provides a permanent increase to a statistic or skill on pickup and can be placed on special stands. In Fallout 4, each bobblehead permanently increases a special statistic by one on pickup and could also be placed on a special stand. But in Fallout 76, bobbleheads provide a temporary benefit that lasts two real-time hours when consumed. However, if you choose not to consume it, they can also be placed on a special stand. Snow Globes also contain the Vault Boy in Fallout New Vegas, and was a limited addition to the Mojave showing different landmarks. These were also promotional items from Vault Tech, much like the Bobbleheads, on the East Coast. 
The different landmarks for the snow globes are Good Springs, Hoover Dam, Mormon Fort, Mount Charleston, Nellis Air Force Base, Test Site, The Strip, Sierra Madre, Zion National Park, Big Empty and Lonesome Road. Snow globes are also marked as quest items and cannot be removed from the courier's inventory unless selling to Jane, a Securitron in the Lucky 38. The Vault Boy also appeared in the 2002 action-adventure game Run Like Hell, Hunt or Be Hunted, a game by Interplay. Also on candy bars called BitBoy Protein Bars with the Vault Boy buff-out addiction image on them. A Vault Boy bobblehead appears in the game Rage by ID Software as it's similar to Fallout. In Doom, the 2016 version, Vault Boy appears in the game as Vault Guy, part of the UAC's line of Marine Guy toys. Vault Boy also appears in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in 2018 as a DLC Me costume for the Me Gunner wearing a Vault 111 jumpsuit, and finally as a Vault Boy puppet in One Man and Creative Puppets, an official Fallout webcomic written by Jerry Holkins and illustrated by Mike Kurlick, the creators of the webcomic Penny Arcade. But why do they have the thumbs up and one eye closed? They are actually using a method of determining if a person was in the fallout radius of a nuclear explosion. If someone held up their thumb in front of their face with one eye closed and could completely cover the mushroom cloud of a distant nuclear explosion, then they were safe from radiation fallout. However, this isn't the case. As Tremel Ray Isaac, the artist to the Vault Boy, said it has nothing to do with measuring the cloud. Vault Boy is actually just saying it's okay, even when it's really not. A reassuring presence that everything will be okay, and is okay, and that those in the vaults have nothing to worry about. <laughs>